And we're back for yep. another episode of Ratchet and Clank Going Commando, developer commentary. I'm Tony Garcia. I'm Mike Stout. And now we're moving on to planet Snivel, Snivelak. Snivelak. You can't even Snivelak. pronounce your own planet. No. I never called them by their names. It was like always level 16. Is what I, so That's what this was in production. Let's see if that's my camera nice controls open. are correct. That's a nice opening view, dude. It is a good opening view. Look at that. So this level is a bit infamous. Uh... For a couple reasons on this level. For one, it's, it's very hard. It's a very, <laughs> very hard level. Uh, it also has a boss fight that is very long. It's a very long boss fight. Perfect. Perfect. We did the space combat section to farm some bolts, and now we not have enough for the bouncer, which we do very much want for this level. Because if we didn't, that would be very difficult and hard. You need some ammo, though. Ugh. I'm going to feel your ammo buying pain. <laughs> in case you didn't oh, watch did the last the uh not enough oh, okay in case you didn't watch the last episode i am actually in los angeles for the recording of this episode and i am uh one of the people i am now playing the game and uh if you have any criticisms this is the gameplay quality that all goes to me and not to mike but i'm sure you won't because i'm excellent at ratchet and clank i want nothing more than to watch you fail repeatedly and <laughs> It won't make a good episode, <laughs> but it'll make me happy. Okay. And that's really the important thing, right, is that I'm happy. So you happy with your loadout? Uh, is that what you're going to do? Are you sure? I, well, i got to put the swing... Well, I don't need... Nah. I'll just equip the swing shot manually. This, what, what were we doing not auto-equipping <laughs> the swing shot? We fixed it in the next game. It's circle for the swing shot. Right, yeah. I'm just No, I'm just making sure I know what's going on. Little, so that you don't look like a fool. That's right. You are a little rusty. I'm a little bit. This will be amazing. Let's see if I can get this secret. You're going straight from like level zero or level right. four to this. There's a, oh the secret. There's a secret nanotech up there. Uh, oh, you want the rocket pack though, don't you? I don't know what I want. Honestly, I don't remember how to get that secret. I'm gonna oh ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I'm going to try one more time. That doesn't matter, though, because I wanted to get back here anyway. That was intentional. We'll probably just cut all that out. That was totally intentional. I, went, I wanted to get back here. This, that was the quickest way to get back here. Yeah. Plus, I get extra bolts. Why, would, why wouldn't I die is really the question. Yeah, it would be... Why would you want to do anything else but die? Only an idiot would have stayed alive in that particular circumstance. So, yeah, that's uh, back to what we were talking about before. This is a bit of an infamous level just because it's, uh, it's very difficult for one. I'm not going to get that secret. Uh, for one, it's very difficult. And for another, it has a very long boss fight here, which a lot of people didn't really like. Uh, but I thought it was a really good boss fight. Yeah, and that boss had a lot of interesting issues we'll be able to talk about. Yeah. Like finding and all that stuff. Uh, I did some work on that boss. Did uh, you? Not on any of the final stuff. That was all, uh, I think, Peter? Peter did the boss, and I did the enemy segment in this level. And, uh, but I did, I did a lot of prototyping when uh, I think Colin designed the boss. So I think I, uh, I, did, I helped him with a bunch of prototyping stuff on that boss. So it'll be interesting to relive it, certainly. Back for some awesome grind boots in. Oh, dynamo. Yeah, oh, there's a dynamo it. segment. No, 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 it's, that's part of the challenge after the grind boots. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's a dynamo challenge when you're walking up the tower. Oh, God, I hope I didn't have anything to do with this. Uh, I don't think so. I remember doing a lot of this, uh, getting these pillars to actually move around a... Uh, a, cil a cylinder. cylinder was a big pain in the ass, and I wasn't a fan of it. And all the, uh, come to think of it, all the dynamo... Uh, this is the only place in the game where dynamo targets move. Yeah. Uh, so you probably had to code your own dynamo target from scratch. Uh, maybe. I mean, actually moving things, once I got things moving around the, the cylinder wasn't too bad, but writing the actual code to move them around the cylinder was a big pain in the ass. So did Colin design this level? Colin did design this level. Uh... I Even think Colin so. had a lot of stuff. To, yeah, that's right. Don't don't see the. Oh wait, no! I gotta shoot these guys. What am I doing? I'm lo totally lost. The camera's messed up. Oh well. <laughs> oh dude, you suck. Hey, I didn't die. You know what the problem is? I reverse the left right controls, I think, or they are reversed, and I don't think they're supposed to be. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm confused. I don't know what the good controls are anymore. Don't don't blame the controls. Blame the player. This is also where we have our big uh, jump big pads, our awesome jump pads. Oh, right, the big old fling pad. Why do you make me charge? <laughs> I didn't make you do anything. 
Oh, way back here. Really? Why'd you make me charge, Mike? That was stupid. Wait, don't you mean you did it on purpose and it was... Uh... No, you made me do that. Because you're dumb and you suck. I was just trying to help. No, don't ever try to help me again. And I put it on the quick select. This is... Ah! <laughs> This whole episode is going to be me laughing <laughs> at how much you suck. This is like the chickens coming home to roost. I'm right doing there. good when I actually have to play the game. It's all, you know, everything's non-intuitive. And you know whose fault it is when something's non-intuitive? The designers. That's exactly whose fault it is when something's non-intuitive. The actual gameplay is flawless. You're not going to blame, blame Ricardo. You're going to blame us. That's right. Okay. Ricardo did all the user interface stuff. In case anyone wants to know. Ricardo, uh, right Rodriguez Hernandez? Uh, I don't know. It's All Ricardo. Right. I'm, I'm not going to put that in. Let's be offensive. <laughs> Alright. Now we're just... Now we're, now we're rolling. So we have the awesome thrust pads here. Don't forget uh, you have the charge boost. Sh charge shut, boost. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, the giant fling pads. This yeah. is the first time we ever did fling pads, actually, was this level. Yeah. Uh, in the whole Ratchet franchise. The difference between a fling pad and a jump pad was the fling pad would put you on a specific spot, right? Yes. It would shoot you along a spline, and a jump pad would just fling you straight up in the air. Okay, so, let's talk about... The bridge? Let's talk about the bridge, and why I love this level. So this level uh, had a lot of back and forth because it was generally considered too difficult. Because uh, even in the final result, it's a fairly difficult level that we put out here. But, um, you know, we fought and went in a lot of back and forth. In the end, we managed to keep a version. Of, it's the armor vendor, but I'm not going to be able to afford armor. Oh. I bought the bouncer. The bouncer is better than armor. But, you know, what? Well, when I die five times, I'll probably take that back. <laughs> but, uh... You know, it was one of those things where, even though it was difficult, we we fought and we tried and we tried to keep it, you know, to still be a hard sort of level. And uh, in the end, I think we did a pretty good job because it was actually, this level actually got called out in a lot of reviews as one of the more difficult levels in Ratchet and Clank. But at the same time, they weren't complaining that it was difficult. It was like, it's a hard level, but when you actually get through it and you succeed, you feel pretty good about yourself as for having gone through it the uh, uh, to give a little background on this level it was supposed to be kind of the first difficulty hump right to force you to go back and uh, and mine right uh, and this was sort of a new new undiscovered territory for insomniac because forcing people to forcing people to mine was just not really a good practice that we had considered before right um, and it's Oh, Man, these dude. mini turrets are not helping me. Maybe someone didn't code the tank as a uh, target. No, they shoot them. I'm just, I'm just throwing from too far of a distance. But anyway, yes, the the idea was we we would have a difficulty spike, and that would force you to go back and play the the desert or the races, right? And and, and sort of actually do the things that we put into the economy to make mining fun instead of repetitive, right? Uh, Ooh, that, that, that nanotech upgrade came at just the right time. <laughs> yeah, who needs armor? Who needs armor when you got nanotech upgrades, right? See that? Look at that bouncer. Look how excellent that is. That is a good weapon. So yeah, we had a. It was a. It's probably one of our most difficult levels, just in terms of like where you are at your power level, in, in addition to you know what we throw at you. Are you going back to the beginning? No, I'm getting ammo. There's uh, an ammo vendor back here. I used all my mini rocket tube ammo. I see. And since I'm a smart player. I actually buy ammo before moving on to the next section. <laughs> Unlike some people when they play this game. That's right. Who shall remain nameless? Who shall remain nameless. Like so. <laughs> or disabled children, who I hate. <laughs> oh, that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow that text up and scroll <laughs> it across the screen. It's going to be like, Tony hates disabled children. So yeah, there was a, a particular review segment... Uh, I, it might have been in the GameSpot review or something like that, where they were they talked specifically about this level, and they were like, it's a hard level, but man, do you feel good after you beat that level? And I was like, yes, that's perfect. And I actually printed out that quote and put it out on my, on my desk and had it, you know, just something to remind me that I actually did good work once in my, <laughs> in my wretched life. Unlike me so far in this game. <laughs> Holy shit. 
Uh, it feels like everything that we've looked at of mine has been like, yeah, no, don't work, don't look at that. I was bad. This is a pretty shitty way to play Ratchet and Clank, by the way. I'm sure it's not exciting for a lot of people. What, that you're jumping around in circles? and no, not... just throwing out mini rockets and uh, and not even looking at the enemies. Oh, no, that's no, no, no. also a pretty shitty way to play in terms of not dying and losing, right? <sighs> Shut up. Didn't you code this level? Like, shouldn't you? I know did, but it's hard because somebody didn't you? actually save their money and didn't give me any money to buy well, armor. You're, you're not using the right weapons, dude. I am using the right weapons. That was as good a weapon as you could use there. No, no. You should use the seeker and the chopper. You know what? The bouncer. It's, well, we bought the bouncer. I should just be using the bouncer a lot. Because... It would be a good idea. Also, the mini turrets are all the way upgraded, aren't they? I just upgraded them right now. Okay. Yeah. I saw a comment about somebody who said they didn't like the bouncer, and uh, I just like to point out that they were wrong. And uh, <laughs> why are they wrong? Tell tell me why. Because the bouncer is like a bouncer. great weapon because it's a fire and forget weapon, which is which are our best weapons. The fire and forget weapons are really the best. What do you think it is about the fire and forget that make them the best? Like, uh, so to uh, to if, if you're thinking about it, right? It seems like a fire and forget weapon would be less fun because you have less. Right. Less to do with it, but it never turned out that way. It's always the No, because, out. I mean, you have enough to, to worry about in terms of uh, killing all these guys that you really just want to be able to, you know, shoot that target button and have things die. Well, and the other, the other thing we found out was that a lot of people liked to uh, fire these out and then switch weapons. Yes. And then have these going while they were doing other things, like the synthenoids or, right. or, or the shotgun. Although, at this point, the shotgun's probably way underpowered. Was this the game where the mini rocket tubes teleport to follow you, or was that? Uh, no, that was a different. That was a different game. We definitely don't do that here. See, the problem I had with this enemy segment is I charged in like a fool, and we punish you for charging in in the summer. Well, yeah, you triggered another enemy. You triggered tubes. Uh, right. Setups at the same time. Plus, there are lots of waves. There are a ton of waves. You want to? You basically want to sit back, clear out a, a section before moving on to the next one. Is this the level with the uh, the nanotech trap? Yeah, this is the level with the oh, nanotech trap. Cool. We talked about that, I think, in a, in a previous episode. Uh, let's see. Oh, sh oh, there's a guy there. You didn't kill them all. Is it bouncer time? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm wasting ammo, which is what I don't like. But man, that guy, these guys hurt. It really there's hurt. There's some nanotech up there. There is I don't some think nanotech. That's, trap that's not the trap one. You should shoot it with a weapon. There's the tank up there. Probably be able to take him out from here. Man, this is a hard level. <laughs> Hold on, I can cheat though. That's the great part. Oh, you're gonna go back to the beginning, really? Yeah, that's how you do you it. Bore the crap out of everybody. Which was which is more boring? Me going back and getting ammo so I can succeed and be excellent, plus some nanotech back here, or dying over and over and over again. For me, which is not fun for anybody. For me, you dying over and over again is no. Way it's more not. Fun. You know what? It's not because you don't understand, Mike. I'm an icon, and nobody <laughs> wants to see their heroes fail. They want to see. They want to cheer their heroes on, and watching your heroes fail isn't fun for anybody. So let me let me sum up what yeah. you're saying. Uh -huh. Is that you are a hero? Yes. To millions of your fans. That's right. And you don't want to let them down. That's exactly it. I see. Uh, sure. Why not? Uh, if anybody disagrees, please write to Tony Garcia. Nobody will. <laughs> Why would anybody disagree with that? Oh no, helicopter! You know, we we have the one uh, that one wallpaper on the website now. The, you hit it with the wrench. Yeah. Maybe we could get a uh, Tony Garcia is my hero wallpaper. Jesus Christ! This helicopter. And he's got these lasers back here, so I can't even back up. What is wrong? With, why would we do that? <laughs> ah, oh. see, I can't back up because then the lasers Maybe hit me. Maybe you should use a different weapon, like say the seeker. No, there is no perfect. No, for that it's totally not. No, the seeker is not perfect for any circumstance. The seeker goes up. No.